Good evening everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. I am on the way to Hunter's house. We're about to go feed a whole bunch of venomous snakes. We got a few snakes that we got to feed today. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of the venomous snake uh, collection we got going on over there. Yeah, we're gonna be over there in probably about 30 minutes or so. So yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there. Alrighty guys, well we finally made it over to Hunter's place. A little glance around at the uh, amazing reptile room that he's got going on here. This is where the fun stuff goes on. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we won't really get too in depth, I guess, uh, about everything that he's got, but he's got a lot of really cool animals in here. Of course, we're here to show off all the cool stuff. All right, so a lot of you guys may not know this, but in order to keep venomous reptiles here in the state of North Carolina, you have to basically check your county ordinance. Ordinance? F you have to check your county ordinance. Um, different counties and cities and towns, they all have their own specific ordinance as to what you can and cannot keep. Mr. Hunter back there, watering his plants. <laughs> Um, lives in one of the legal counties to keep venomous reptiles here in North Carolina. However, there's a little bit of regulation that you have to go over before you can keep your venomous reptiles. So one of the regulations is to be in a completely escape proof room. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to head on in here so you guys can see. I has basically modified this entire grow tent to uh, be completely escape proof. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's check it out. So you can see here we've got locks on the doors right here. Obviously it's open because we're working in here. Got our labels right here. Everything here is completely sealed off. Ready, Mr. Hunter, right here. The man himself. <laughs> the uh, DILF. The DILF. It's really easy for me to seal it off. Uh, I'm an HVAC guy, so I pretty much seal for a living. So I use a lot of HVAC material to seal off all these openings. So I ran some power in here. I have two four foot um, long power strips along both sides of the grow tip. Well, handy handy fan. Pretty neat. DNR, we're out here doing it right. Got our tools right here, ready to go. Got containment. Of course, we've got this bad boy. The holy grail. The holy grail of bite protocols. Almost every species of venomous snake that you can keep here in the United States is found here in this book. Um, everything's all labeled, everything's all organized. Of course, along with our bite protocols, we have to have labels. We're about to actually switch over to these labels. But every single enclosure has to be labeled venomous reptile, the first aid, as well as the species, both common and scientific name, as well as having a functional lock on all of the enclosures, which as you can see, we've got all of our locks in place. Hunter has done a fantastic job at making sure that everything is all locked and secure. Safety is my number one practice. Uh, so I take pride in having my sealed out tent and um, I'm gonna upgrade the tent pretty soon to 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. And then we're gonna get some cobras in here, so. It's gonna be exciting it's gonna stuff. It's gonna be exciting, yeah. It's gonna be really exciting. All right, so yeah, we're throwing out some rodents. We've got some snakes here ready. And yeah, we're gonna get to feeding. Oh! Here. <clears throat> Ooh, a little southern copperhead right here. Oh, so gentle.
Oh. Another one. We got a nice little leftover pinky for Miss Blue. Alrighty guys, well, that's pretty much about all we have to, for today. We're just waiting for some copperheads to finish up on eating. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna be doing a lot more filming over here because it's a lot of cool stuff in there and we're gonna be adding a lot of cool stuff in there. As well as we haven't even gotten into this incredible reptile collection that Mr. Hunter's got going on. Don't forget to follow us all on Instagram. Of course, me, Jack's Wild World, and Mr. Hunter at All My Exotics. Make sure you give him a follow. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, all of the links will be down in the description. Just gonna be doing a lot more filming over here because there's a lot of incredible lizards. I might put a little teaser in here, I might not. If I do, it's gonna be really cool. Um, there's a lot of really cool animals here to, uh, to show you guys. So yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next episode and make sure you go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me and Mr. Hunter right here. I guess we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.